Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to teach you a little trick, something that you might find useful for both learning covers and recording them. We're gonna discuss how to program in a lead in click. Okay, so let's take this tool song as our problem scenario. Okay, so as you can hear, the song starts off with just drums, right? There's no, there's no vocal lead in or guitar lead in to let you know when you're supposed to start. Obviously, there's a whole ton of songs out there that do this, right? Like Metallica, Sad But True, the whole band comes together. This song later on, everything stops and comes back in together again. That's a second point where you might be like, I don't know when I'm supposed to come in, right? Because there's no lead in. Well, keep in mind when these guys record in the studio, usually they are recording to a click. So they have a lead in, they know when to come in. So why should we be any you know, more limited than they were when they were recording? So we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make sure, you know, we're not gonna practice this to our phones. We're gonna use a DAW so we can use better technology to our advantage. So how do we actually do this? How are we gonna set up a click to this song or a partial click to this song? Well, it's actually really easy. Uh, there's just a couple of things you gotta do. The first is we just gotta, roughly speaking, figure out what the tempo on this song is. So as you can see on my phone, I have this little metronome app and there's a whole ton of them out there. This is a paid version, but there's a free version of it as well. It does just as good. You just wanna make sure that you have one that has a little tap tempo button. So then you can be tapping on it and it tells you what the tempo is that you're tapping at. Let's, let's give this a whirl. I'm gonna hit play on this. I'm gonna start tapping and we're gonna figure out, roughly speaking, the tempo of the song. So I would say um, it was ranging like 152 to 156. We'll go with the, in the middle, we'll say like 154. Now at this point, now that you know roughly the tempo, you got two options. One, you can set up the metronome to play throughout. So now you have a click and the song going on at the same time. To do that, you have to really dig in and figure out exactly what the tempo is at. And it may not be exactly 156. Your tempo might be, or 154, right? It might be 154.37. It might be some like, you know, off by just so ever so slightly. So you'll probably spend a good amount of time trying to track that down. But if that's what you got to do, then that's what you got to do. But keep in mind, this won't work on, especially a lot of older recorded songs where bands may not have recorded to a click. For example, all the newer Metallica, from what I can tell, is recorded to a click. But their first three or four albums, I don't believe they actually did record to a click. So what are we going to do instead? Well, really, we just need a click for like a measure or two measures, right? Some short number of beats. But usually, the your DAW doesn't allow you to, to have a click just go for a short amount of time. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to print or record in to a new track the click for just the amount of time that we need. So how do we do that? We're gonna add a new track and we're gonna set the input to be our internal monitoring. Now, how do we do that? Keep in mind in your, your DAW, usually there's a set of input devices that you have and you might have to turn some extra stuff on to be able to do this. So previously I had to uh, turn on this monitoring item here. That, that's the case for for the sound card I have. And that allows me to record all internal audio. So once that was enabled there, I can just select it here. I could actually just record it as a stereo thing, but I really only need one channel. So I'll just record the left channel. Word of warning when you go to do this, when you're going to record your internal audio, it will record anything that plays. So if you're trying to do this and you get a ding on Facebook, it's going to record in. Uh, likewise, if I hit play or hit record right now, it's going to play this back. So I actually have to mute this other track so that it, the track doesn't print as well. Uh, go in and set up your, you know, your, your click however you want. Uh, you know, like your DAW may have all different sorts of different types of sounds. You, you know, it's just pick whatever sounds you want. Make sure obviously you're setting the tempo that you 
you picked earlier. And at this point, you're good to hit record. Now, how long are you going to record for? Record one beat longer than you need. So here, I just want a four beat lead in. Well, I need to record five beats. If you wanted a two measure lead in a four, four record nine beats instead. Okay. Let's hit record. That's it. Hey, there's my five beats. And as you can see, it has recorded here exactly what I needed. So I can unarm this now and I can shut off the mute on my audio. Now I've already shut off snap to grid before, so it will be a little bit easier to move things around. And I'm just going to start to slide things around and get the first beat of the song to line up with the last beat of the click. So I'm just going to move things around and I'm going to say, you know what, this is for sake of argument, this is close enough. So now let's give this a whirl. I should hit play and it'll play my five beats with the last beat lined up to the song. And there you have it. Now at this point, if you didn't want it to play together, you could just get rid of that last beat. No problem. I would recommend just keeping it in until you test it just to make sure you got everything lined up though. So I hope you guys found that useful. I have other tips like this coming up in the future as well, in addition to review on things like drumsticks and cymbals. So if you don't want to miss out on all that stuff, then don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, peace.